You had just finished working on your project with your senpai. She was so sweet and loving and caring. Everything you did just seemed to be so wonderful. At least. <laughs> when it was with her. You packed up your belongings and smiled. You looked at her and smiled again. You looked away thinking how lucky you must be to have her. It was like everything was rainbows and sunshine. Clear, endless sky. There was nothing you could do. Nothing you could do if you didn't have her. She smiled at you back and you looked away, blushing. Oh, you were such a klutz, but she loved that about you and you knew that. She told you that and expressed that to you many, many times. The bell rang and you told her goodbye and waved at her. Slowly, you walked away from her and you were ready to go home. You looked back and she was already chatting. It was almost like she had no, no desire to talk to you anymore. No desire to turn back around. No desire to see what you were doing. In a way that broke you. That was nearly almost every day. You thought to yourself, is this really how I want to live life? Do I really just want to be waiting on her to say something? Do I really just... Do I really just want to be... Waiting until she gets married? Until she decides that you're the one? You decided you would wait no longer. You turned around, and suddenly, you saw her talking to someone. Punk rock boy. One of the popular ones. One you knew you couldn't compete with. You sunk your head in disappointment. There's clearly nothing I can do, you said to yourself. You turned back around. You decided to go ahead and leave the school as there's nothing else to do. You had already done everything you needed to do. You cleaned, you said bye to everyone, you made sure you had all your homework, and you had everything still felt empty. You walked home, slowly but surely. You were to make it. You hear footsteps behind you. You turn around and see nothing. You keep walking for what seems to be another mile. The footsteps get closer and closer, but every time they stop when you turn around. You thought to yourself, maybe this is just me thinking about Senpai and how much you want her to be walking next to you. Then again, you shook your head and hit yourself. Dumb, 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 dumb! That's all you could think. Was she really that important to me? Why couldn't I say something? Why didn't I say something? I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to be with her. And just then you heard. <gasps> and you turn around. But no one. No, no, no. That didn't sound like her voice at all, you thought. And this time, you stayed turned around. And you saw a girl peek her head from the corner. <gasps> um. She hid one more time. No sounded more like hiccups, but... You walked towards her. She was small. She posed no real threat. At least so you thought. Hello, hello, was anyone there? You asked, or in a similar manner. No, no one's here. Go away. Don't, don't come this way. 
He walked closer. No, I said no one's here. And there she was, huddled in the corner. And the footsteps she'd been hearing, it was just her the entire time. She looked familiar, but she was wearing her school uniform. So you knew she went to the same school as you. She looked up at you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to... I didn't mean to... It was clear she had been following you the entire way home. What were you to do about it? You reached out your hand. Huh? Um... She took your hand, standing up. I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't have followed you, but... I... I have something to say. You listened closely. As everything she said was... Interesting. Listen. I know... About your... Crush on Senpai. And... I know you really like her. But... I have to tell you. I... I don't think she's the one. I... I know she isn't. You may not know me. I'm Shiko. From class... 4D? Um... I promise I don't stalk you like this every day. <laughs> you looked at her puzzled. Every day? Really? And you've just now noticed? Well, no, it's only been for about... A month. Or two. Um, I don't want to lie to you. I'm sorry. Um... You shook your head and... I asked her to continue, as it was fine. Really? You don't see a problem with that. You know, usually people do when they stop caring so much. Anyway. I... I... No. Shut up, don't say anything. You were confused, as you didn't say anything. You just kept listening and waiting for her to respond. I... I may have a empty, wincy little crush on you and you're so disgusting. I mean, you're not that disgusting. I... 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 Her hands clamped up. You could see as she clamped up as well. She looked away, flustered, but not really responding to you. Not talking to you, not saying another word. A stalker you'd had for months. You hardly noticed, but now she's come out and told you herself. Well, if this little one had the courage to tell me about you thought to yourself, Maybe I have the courage to tell my senpai. Your eyes lit up and your face was... Your face was full of joy. But then you remembered the stalker right in front of you. Oh fuck, you thought. Listen. You're cute, you told her. But I just realized I want to be with my senpai. She frowned. You're serious, aren't you? You're really serious about this. You want to be... What the fucking whore? Who's been with almost every guy in the school. Don't you know that? You're an idiot. 
You're such a fucking idiot. But that's why I'm here. To stop you from making stupid little mistakes. You see, I've been watching over you for some time now. Not like it matters anyway. It's just... Friends being friends. D don't ask. Okay? And well, I just thought that... I'd help you. Be with the girl you really loved. Me. You know? I don't think that's such a problem. I think that's more beneficial for you. You know? To be with me. And well... In the end, we both get all you want. You get someone who really, really appreciates you and cares for you and will treat you kindly. And, and me, I, I get. I get. I get. I get. I get. I get. Nothing. Uh, oh, jeez. I, I get the love of my life. The one thing that keeps me going. You know, that's you. You're the person I'm talking about. Just in case you didn't know since you're so stupid. Anyway. Lane. What's wrong? You thought to yourself again. What the fuck? Obviously, there's something wrong with this girl. But you felt as if you left. You, you might do more damage. But what kind of damage could you do to someone like this? Oh my. She was clearly a mystery to figure it out, but... Something wasn't adding up. Something was... Severely wrong. And a little bit you were scared. You were scared for everything that was to come. You turned around. Nope, nope, fuck it. You left. Hey, where are you going? You can't just walk away from me like this. Hey, where are you going? I said, you're not going anywhere. I don't think you're taking me seriously. You turned around. This girl is right up on your back. Now you're fine. You know, I don't really like to play games. Not for you, I can make an exception. A really a light one at that. I can make an exception for you. That is, if you're willing to listen, I'd be more than happy to help you. She was pressed right against your body at this point. What were you to do? Push her away. Exactly that, yes. You pushed back your elbows, getting ready to push her when... Stab. Pain. It was a wet feeling. Blood. So much blood. I'll take you with me. You can come with me and... Well... I'll have you to my collection. Happily. So come on. I'll take you. She opened a car door. Pushed you inside. And off you went. Well, at least your life will end. That's what you want, then, right? And she'll take care of you. For the rest of your life. And you'll be her. Little toy. <laughs>